As the saying goes, one person's trash is another person's treasure. And thanks to a new reality TV show, tidying up with Mari Kondo, it seems a lot of treasure is showing up at thrift stores at the moment. And that's led to lots more people looking to snap up a secondhand bargain. I would say it's like motivated me to be a little bit more organized. Um, I think just even watching it, you see people cleaning, you're like, I should also be doing that. I think that the series has inspired a lot of people to tidy up. I think it's good to be able to, to weed out and be able to say goodbye to things that aren't necessarily serving you anymore. Beacon's Closet is one of the largest used clothes emporiums in NYC. January is usually a quieter time for the store. But this year, after the condo Netflix show was released, they've seen an influx of people bringing unwanted clothes in the hopes the store will purchase it from them to resell it. Weekends all of a sudden started to feel like how our weekends in the spring and in the fall feel, which are our busiest times of year with wait times of, you know, of instead of maybe an hour, an hour and a half to wait to sell your clothes, there was three hour wait times, lines of people and a lot of conversation that people had watched the show and that's why they had all their stuff. The TV show is not the first time the world has been introduced to the Japanese organizational guru. Choose item that spark joy for you. Spark joy. Her now trademark tidying up techniques have become known as the KonMari method. Her mantra to only keep items that spark joy was first explained in her best-selling books, which spurred a similar organizational spree when they were released. The resurgence of the tidying up craze has not only been a boon to thrift stores, it's also sparked more joy for the KonMari brand, as well as offshoot consulting businesses. The resurgence of the tidying up craze hasn't just been a boon to thrift stores, it's also sparked more joy for the KonMari brand, as well as offshoot consulting businesses. Hi, Tamika. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Tu Hung is one of around 200 certified KonMari consultants. She's been working with Tamika Francois since November. You have to pick up one item now that bring you joy. What would it be? So, yeah. The two have been doing three to four sessions a month, which can start at a cost yes. of around $1,500. It's an investment, not only um, for your current self, but it's an investment in your future self. So I feel like it is so worth it. Like it's worth its weight in gold. About joy. This one. Two started working as a KonMari consultant at the end of 2017. She had to undergo rigorous training and pass so a test you. to become officially certified. Thank you for the service. She pays KonMari Media Inc. $500 a month in membership we fees and hopes the consulting business books, will continue to expand. We moved, um, it's gradually um, growing, but after the Netflix show, it's, it's really exploding. It's everywhere and um, it does um, kind of recruit a lot of clients um, who are interested in the process. So um, we definitely have more business coming. If the recent surge in purging is anything to go by, it seems that the tidying up craze will continue to spark some life-changing magic for many businesses. For CCTV, I'm Reuters reporter Jade Barker. Here we go.